you would have access to this whole area. And up here mm -hmm. is the prettiest stand of hemlocks looking down at the river. Nice. It's But I have a plan right now that I'm going to share with you guys and let you guys know what's going on with Cycle Cruiser going forward. So stay tuned. Let's go for a ride. watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. Make sure to visit CycleCruiser.com and click on the menu tab My Videos and those are a bunch of playlists with all my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through. I'll tell you one thing guys that motorcycles have been an absolute blessing in my life man. It just instantly makes you feel good and if you get a motorcycle make sure you get the gear. I, I have links to all of my gear if you want to get my ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet with auto tint shield, motor vlog camera, airbag vest to keep you safe, sedici jacket, shorty gloves, all my gear. Links in the description and comment section of this video. But that's what I love about riding a motorcycle. You just kind of explore these little nooks and crannies that you never really paid attention to before. Hey, look at that. Got rabbits everywhere, man. I got them all in my yard. Oh, listen to that triple cylinder. I tell you, that make you feel good, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it sounds good underneath the bridge, too. I love it. I love it. All right. Now, I am not speeding. I tell you that, because every time I speed over here, I've, I've got like three tickets over here, man. Stop happening because of your speed. This is a 50 zone here going 68. <laughs> the Brook Park Police, I tell you, if you come to Ohio, avoid speeding in Brook Park. It's like the worst city, man. They will get you every time, man. And they will give you, they will never give you a break. You're automatically getting a ticket. So I highly recommend do not speed, especially around the, the Cleveland Hopkins Airport. Forget about it, man. <laughs> but anyways, guys, Right now, I want to get a place with a lot of land so that I can, you know, I'd love to get a side-by-side, -side, just rip on my property, and I uh, have trails in the woods, which is, it's really hard to find uh, a country house that has trails in the woods, man, and I found one. As you saw in the previous video I did on Thursday, I did find a 45-acre property with a private pond, awesome ATV trails, uh, one mile of river frontage, uh, great hiking trails throughout the property, a 1,500 square foot house, like three car garage with workshop. Um, I did put an offer on it. I beat another guy out by $2,000. And so I'm under contract, right? But I made a poor decision in my offer, guys. Uh, because I was paying cash, I went through the seller's agent, which I thought could help me get my offer through. She recommended that I put no professional inspection required, which I stupidly did. <laughs> Mind you, I didn't even go inside the house. I just went on the property and looked at all the awesome trails and river frontage and I put the offer in. So, so I got a chance to see inside the house and other structures and take a tour of the property. And I'll tell you, I was displeased with three things and I wish I had gotten a professional inspection. Although I have not closed on the house yet, so I technically can still get out of it. But I will tell you, when I went in the basement, it smelled like must, you know, this musty smell. And that's a sign of mold. He said he uses a fan to get rid of the smell, but that's not a good thing. And also, the pond has this algae, which he said he applies this special chemical. And mind you, this pond supplies water to the house, even though they do have a water you know, filtration system. But that's still kind of alarming. He says you have to apply this chemical like every two weeks. Otherwise, that stuff just keeps coming back. So I was disappointed with that. And also, the propane tank little looked a bit old, weathered, and beat up. And I definitely would want to have those lines checked for any leakage or any damage to that tank. So it looks like this deal could fall through if they don't make some corrections. Uh, I did pay $3,000 in earnest money, but there's a couple of things on the disclosure statement that they weren't correct with. So I may be able to get out of this. I, I love the property in so many ways, but man... That pond and that musty smell in the basement. I don't know. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below and let's discuss.
I've come to the conclusion I'm looking for property here in Ohio, especially Southeast Ohio, that has all the curvy roads down there. And they don't get a severe uh, winter as, they, as we do up here. We get the lake effect snow from Lake Erie up here. So down there, the weather's better. They got better roads. Um, they got a lot of trails in the woods down there, man. And beautiful country houses, cheap property taxes. Our property taxes are ridiculous up here. I'm paying like five, almost 5,000 a year, man, on a house that's worth probably like 280,000 or something. And you don't pay taxes here in the state of Ohio for small businesses uh, up to 250,000 a year, I believe. So no state taxes, guys. And, and uh, I tell you, there's a lot of benefits to, to living here in Ohio, man. We got good people here, uh, beautiful forests, beautiful woods, beautiful rolling hills. And uh, I've come to appreciate my state. And I think I'm staying here, guys. I'm not, I'm not going to another state. And also, I don't have to deal with resetting up my whole business licenses and all that stuff. So, um, so I'm staying here, guys. I've always wanted to experience the country lifestyle. I know it's a lot of work, but where I live right now, I got a lot of work when I my yard right now. I got so many islands and <laughs> and a lot of stuff to keep up with. So I'm already kind of used to that already. But I'm ready to try. I want to try something new and different. You know, life is all about experiencing different things, man. It just for me, I get bored doing the same thing over. You know, living in the same place. Uh, riding these same roads after all the years, you know, it, I want to try something new a new place So I'll go to a whole new place down in Ohio um, See how it is down there and then I'll come back up here to my house up here It's all about trying new stuff man experiencing different things. I never wanted to get married never wanted any offspring <laughs> all my friends that had kids you know a lot of them they had kids young and they ended up broke you know i never wanted to be that that's why i have what i have now because i don't have a family i don't have a wife uh to support you know to divorce me and take all my money and <laughs> <laughs> and then you have to pay child support payments and all that stuff. That's why a lot of you guys are broke. You know what I'm saying? You didn't put that Jimmy hat on back in the day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you got married. You know what I'm saying? Marriage is for fools, in my opinion. At least legal marriage. Ceremonial marriage without a legal documentation. That's fine. That's cool, man. I'm, I'm cool with that. But when you make it legal, forget about it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but to each his own. Do what you want to do. Some people got to learn the hard way. Some people keep learning the hard way. They keep getting married and getting divorced and end up with nothing. <laughs> but that's your life. You do what you want to do, man. Uh, but for me, personally, I like dating and, and not living together. And... Uh, and that to me that's the best time man is when you don't live together and you're dating you put your best foot forward you know you when you live together with 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 a woman or for you women out there that move in with a man uh you know that's when you know after a while a period of time you get to a point where you know you start getting slipping and you start getting then you start disrespecting each other and then it goes downhill and it's to me, the per it's perfect when you don't live together. You have your own place, and um, I don't know. That's just me, man. I'm just sharing, you know, how I am. I, I know a lot of you guys think I'm weirdo, but that's fine with me, man. I'm living my own life, enjoying my own life, and uh, I'm doing well, and I uh, am blessed. I appreciate, you know, another thing. You have to appreciate the ability to be able to even ride a motorcycle, man. There's a lot of people out there that have physical conditions they can't even ride you know a lot of people out there that can't walk and other stuff you really have to appreciate your health and your your blessings that you have and i uh, thank uh thank god a higher power above that that uh you have what you have because <laughs> i'll tell you guys it's not about material things man your health is your wealth and uh and your family around you your friends that those are all your blessings guys 
um, not material wealth uh, money's not gonna make you happy material things even though motorcycles are probably the best material thing in the world that can make you happy but even then it's still a material item at the end of the day it's all about your health and your family and friends and stuff man but but anyways guys yeah that, that's that's what's going on with me so i love my state of ohio but anyways leave a comment below what do you guys think man what what's going on with you guys let's talk about it um don't forget to subscribe to my all of my motorcycle channel and check out my other channel bug out moto deuces thumbs up check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.